Protein is essential for human health. The way we provide protein to human beings is placing growing pressure upon the world's resources. We need to find better ways in which we can provide the world with the protein that it craves. In the world today, roughly three times as much land is used for farming animals, primarily cattle, as is used for all the crops. And of the crops that we produce, nearly a third are used to feed the animals that we then eat as meat or use as sources of milk. So livestock as a source of protein is placing incredible pressures upon the world's land. And it's not a stable pressure. It is increasing over time with population, with rising incomes, more demand for protein, which is seen in nutrition terms as something of a luxury in the sense that demand for protein in emerging economies grows faster than incomes. The biggest single contribution that human beings could make to reducing the pressure on resources in a way that I feel is not too onerous would be to try to reduce the amount of animal protein, in particular beef, in their diet and to switch to more sustainable sources of protein. I think that's a trend we will continue to see. The other trend, which I believe will develop and probably gather pace, is on the vegetable and non-animal protein side. I think you can expect developments in algae as a source of not just protein, but other alternative feedstuffs for animals. I think you can expect to see novel sources like insect protein become more acceptable. But also I think we're going to see science and technology making the basic vegetable proteins, whether they're lentils, whether they're peas, whether they're beans, and in particular soybeans, making that protein more and more acceptable to us as human beings, in which case we will be more willing to make the switch from animal protein towards vegetable protein. Mm -hmm.